back YouTube friends. This is our YouTube video. I'm here with Anuska. She's helping me show you how we're just a big girl now. And we're gonna um, show you what we do to get ready for when we go outside and we are not using any more um, diapers. So no. before... I got it, Mommy. Before I potty trained on my daughter, I, got it. I didn't really bother about what to pack on my back because she had a diaper, we have an extra diaper in, and usually that was enough to keep her going through all the few hours that I was um, out. Now, as I soon as I potty trained on her, that, you did it that, way. that kind of change, um, I had to change the inside of my bag, and I wanted to do a video of that uh, for you guys before I change my bag completely because it's gonna turn from a toddler bag to a diaper bag um, for when we have our or the baby that's just about to come out. Um, hold on, okay. We have inside. I have a big bag like this. I don't really have a special bag. I like this bag because it's a spacious I got it, and because yeah. it doesn't, it's not heavy. Those are my glasses, my reading glasses, and what I pack for her in my bag I got is it, a plastic bag. I got See? it. I have a plastic yeah. bag, yeah. and yeah. this is just my reusable plastic bag that I have um, from like Walmart. And what I have in here is that I have extra clothes for her. Just in case she has an accident. See, I have, um, I take about, go get, go get it. Baby, buscalo, baby, buscalo. I have about, um, three pairs of underwear, three pairs of underwear and one pair of socks, just in case her pee, -pee runs over the socks. Um, and then I have two pants and two shirts for her, um, to have. The reason why I have everything inside this plastic bag is because as soon as I change her, if she has an accident, I'm going to use this same plastic bag to put um, all her her wet clothes in it. And then if she has, um, if there's any spill inside my bag of the juice or anything, then I would, um, then it wouldn't get his her clothes wet. I always have a small hand towel like this. I know, mommy. I'm about to go there. I always have a small hand towel like this. <laughs> Just because. Again, it hasn't, it hasn't happened so far. But if it does happen, I'll be prepared. Um, as to where we'll know what to do. I saw this on a YouTube video. Um from another lady and she said she always um, had um what, she always had a towel with her on on her uh, uh, go bag because if she was in the middle of the store on an aisle which trust me it happened and it did happen to me before and I did feel embarrassed and I didn't know what to do or kind of yeah we walk away but now I know that I know now I'm ready and so what we do is that we have this kind of hand towel oh, in hand yeah. so that if she pees on the middle of the aisle then I can just feel better to kind of put the towel in there and, and pick her pee out and then just let somebody know that that that, that happened that she had an accident. Um, it hasn't happened so far for us but it was happening at the beginning um, like I mentioned in some other videos when I started to potty train her I didn't really go at it the same way, um, the right way, I mean, I went the same way that I did with my son and it was not working for her, Oop. it was not working for her, so that's why she had a lot of accident and I kind of felt like I was setting her up for failure, um, I was using the juice technique I was, as to where you give a lot of juice to the kid so that they have a lot of um, practice in going to, into the bathroom, this was not working for my daughter, it was kind of selling her up to failure. She would know that no matter how hard she tried, she couldn't run enough, uh, fast enough to go to the bathroom. Because the juice was just acting way too quickly on her and she would get one small uh, juice block. And with that amount of juice, she would go to the bathroom like six or seven times. And uh, we didn't want that. So we kind of went back on her regular amount of liquid. Usually when she has water or when she has milk, she doesn't go pee as much as she does when she has juice. So again, watch my other videos on how I potty train her and definitely um, let me know if I was helpful, if it helped for you as much as it helped for me. 
but again this is what we did differently uh, this is what I did differently for my bag I have a plastic bag inside my bag I'm not gonna show you everything else that's in my bag because it's just stuff for me um, the other things that I packed for my daughter are snack depending and they vary um, depending on how long I'm gonna be out um, out and about with her but the main thing is that plastic bag that I have with her extra clothes in it so that if we go to the park or if we go to somebody's houses and she doesn't have enough time to go to the bathroom because usually it's not that she... Right now, we're at that point where it's not that she doesn't let me know. It's as to where she doesn't have enough time to get there. Um, like, let's say um, we're paying at a store and the uh, way from, from where we are standing at to where the toilet is, it's far away. She might be able to hold it and run to it, but she might not be able to. And that's why we have the extra clothes. So we teach her that it's okay. We reward her anyway because she let us know that she had to go. But we don't, um, you know, but we have the extra clothes so that she feels good. And she feels um, good and dry clothes. It's important for them to know the difference between being wet and being dry. And for them to know the difference... Um, as to where being wet is not okay because for some kids like for my daughter if she would have an accident she would just kind of be with pee and she wouldn't let me know like it wouldn't bother her so I had to teach her that it was not okay to be wet I had to be like um, I remember at the beginning we used to talk to her a lot and we would be like ew that's disgusting Anuska. Um, you're not supposed to be wet look touch my clothes my clothes are dry are your clothes dry or wet and then she would kind of know the difference and she would know that it's not okay to be wet. Um, so definitely think about that again as the same way that you potty train one child does not mean that you're going to get the other one potty train the same thing. Unfortunately, I learned that the hard way. It took me a few months for me to learn that. Um, up to the point where I thought that my daughter was not ready and it was ri not ridiculous. But for me it was. Because uh, just because I'm Cuban... And in my country, like people that are kids that are one year old, they're already not using diapers. And so for people in here, everybody was like, oh, you know, you're fine. You're um, you're always stimulating her. You're probably potty training her too early uh, because kids in here, average kids in the United States of America is um, for potty training is three years old. In my country, it's not like that. By the time they're one year old, they're just not using diapers because there is no diapers in Cuba. So I didn't want to, you know, to have my daughter being three years old and still using diapers. Just because of that background that I had. Um, so I felt kind of giving up and I felt like a failure as a mother, you know, just knowing that she was not getting there until I noticed that I was approaching it in the wrong way. So again, hope these tips are helpful for you. Um, as you can see, for me to go out with my daughter and be able to continue her potty training, um has not been so difficult it's not like i had to go to the store and buy things for her i use the same thing that i had in my house i use an old plastic bag um and i use her own extra clothes and an old small towel that i have in here and if you don't have a small towel then cut a regular towel up that you're not going to use that's pretty old by the way i want to use this video um really quickly before i say goodbye to kind of let everybody know that my daughter has been potty trained now for I think about three weeks and we're pretty good yesterday was the first day because she was kind of like having one accident a day every day so yesterday was like the first day she had no accident whatsoever and I just wanted to let you know too that um, she goes to bed without diapers or without pull-ups she doesn't use pull-ups or diapers to go to bed right from the beginning that I started body training her that's just something that I believe in that if you use diapers at the same time that you're potty training your child, it would confuse them. But then again, you know, it's up to you. That's just what works for me and my beliefs, which might not be the same as yours. Um, so that's good for us. We're not using diapers anymore whatsoever or pull-ups. Not to go out, um, not to go anywhere, and not to sleep, and not for anything. So guys, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.